So we are just prepping this house in Sunset Park, Santa Monica, three bedroom, two bath. The owners have moved out and we are painting, cleaning, doing the yard work. We're going to be staging. It'll be live next week. We're moving quickly. So it's exciting to see all the progress we have going on. So stay tuned for more. So here is our update. It is now Tuesday and we're stopping by to see how the staging looks. So in a recent turn of events, turns out yesterday when we were here with the stagers, it wasn't quite right. I sent a couple photos over to them and they said, oh, we had some of the wrong furniture there. It was supposed to be a house in Venice. So much better. Look at these beautiful tones. I love the yellow. And we have some artwork. And yep, more artwork, the console. And then the kitchen still looks great. But this was definitely an upgrade in here. Looks much better. The biggest one, oh, the furniture out here was a little oversized. Some better items in the patio. And of course, this room. The kitchen, which looks great. Just a sneak peek. You will have to wait to see how it all looks when we're doing photos and video. This one's gonna fly. Definitely gonna fly. All right, so here today, we are on 32nd Street in beautiful Santa Monica. And this home, I'm so fortunate to have worked with these clients on this home. It was very special circumstances. They had purchased this home in 2014 for about 1.34 million. Six years later, they are selling it for 1743 about $400,000 they have made in six years. Now we get a lot of questions about the market going up, being a good time to buy. Historically over time, we have always seen the market increase. So once we hit the market, it was very busy at first. We went through a little bit of a lull. This property was on about a month. We had a couple offers come in, none quite came together. Now it can be very interesting, as I've mentioned before, not every offer that comes in in this market is the best upfront. And a lot of times you can be on the market for over a month and out of nowhere receive two offers at the same time. And that's exactly what happened here. So we were able to secure this buyer, the strongest buyer of the two into escrow, really lovely local couple who were born and raised here, own a local restaurant. Now what's important about this is the transaction itself was very smooth. It was one of the smoothest ones that we've had this year. And why is that? Well, one of the big reasons is because of the pre-listing process and what we put in to make it ready made the uh, transaction a lot more transparent. So we had a home inspection done of this property that we were able to give to the buyers. So a lot of the little things here and there, we were able to have done before the buyers, before we put the property on the market. There were a couple other items that were found as sometimes buyers do more thorough inspections. But instead of dealing with a huge request for repairs or a lot of negotiations, we had only a couple small things that were found. We didn't have surprises. We didn't have uh, issues with roof or foundation. All the things that we knew about, we were able to fix and or disclose up front. So it's a great idea as a seller to make sure that you prep your home so that when you go to market, it is a really smooth process. So here we are, we're closing day. The stagers are on their way to take all this beautiful furniture. Thanks guys for watching and we're gonna tune into some more information in this crazy COVID pandemic real estate market. So make sure you stay tuned. See you soon.